Hi Cancer! Welcome to your general reading Cancer. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know. Cancer, this is a collective message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. Okay, so please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Okay, so let's see Cancer, what do we have for you? What do we have for Cancer, please? So we have a life partner letting go. We also have clarity and rebirth. Okay, for some of you, you might be practicing meditation. Uh, if not, it's, it, 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 if, it might be quite beneficial for you, actually. Uh, I also see a spa. <laughs> Maybe for some of you, you are, you are working at spa. Or you like wellness consultant, Reiki, master. I'm getting very, very strongly. Energy of rebirth. Very interesting. With this letting go, you see, Cancer, I see that um, I feel that you would draw your energy or you, you distant recently, you, you made the decision to kind of distance yourself when it comes to a particular situation. It's like, and you might be, you know, coming into conclusion that something, it doesn't make you feel happy anymore. You feel lonely, you feel sad, and it's time to let go of certain situations and people in order to feel happiness again, or to feel fulfillment. Clarity here, it's coming. I feel that very soon, if there is, because for some of you, you might be absolutely certain that this is exactly what you want to do. But if not, I feel that very soon you will gain a certain clarity with regards to this situation or how to approach or what sort of decision you should make and what it might be um, most beneficial for you and for your well-being. I'm getting very strongly energy of well-being, focusing on well-being, making healthy choices, investing into yourself and having that kind of peace of mind, peaceful mind, Zen energy. For some of you, maybe you, you will decide to go to spend some time in a spa or to go for massage, <laughs> I'm getting also. But with the rebirth card, there is a new beginning. Also, I feel that you are in the middle of healing. We have a life partner. For some of you, you might be in a certain relationship or there is a connection that feels very that you feel very strongly about and or you 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 share a very strong soul connection with someone but recently things has been quite difficult quite challenging and this person essentially might make you feel sad and you might be thinking of kind of letting go here of 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 or making a certain moderations changes in this connection for some of you just want to let it go you know take back control and because i'm getting very strongly you need you are in need here of of just tranquility because i feel that things have been particularly emotionally draining recently and it's like you are gaining back control, focusing on yourself, putting yourself first, practicing maybe mindfulness, you know, well-being. Like It's like a change of not essentially a lifestyle, but mindset, mindset regarding certain things. With the rebirth card, it's worth emphasizing that it might also indicate that someone here wants to uh, come back in order to a uh, kind of uh, rekindle a old old feelings of thing you know certain connection with you but I also seeing rebirth of friendship it's showing up very strongly here for you cancer so let's see 
let's see what do we have for you cancer we have a page of swords okay we have a five of pentacles page of cups and the hanged man you might be dealing with pisces cancer someone here is spying on you because this person here feels very very lonely and they are missing you they are missing your support your warmth your care and with the five of pentacles here they feel very lonely we have a page of cups it's like this person is planning to send a message to kind of talk to you pages it's not much it's like a potential beginning you know something like this so it's like a kind of a i'm not getting a cheeky message but like a very kind of a trying to figure out if you really kind of open to talk to them this is someone who is missing you they are if you have social media they are they are actively observing your social media they're trying to figure out what's going on in your life but I'm getting someone who's very interested in you they have they are very lonely they are missing you very very much missing your energy that's why they are planning to come forward there is a no contact situation between the two of you with this hanged man it's like this person is not taking any action but I also seeing again this is someone also here cancer who is slowly changing perspective about something it's like they are uncertain as well with this with this hanged man they mm, i don't know but 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 i feel that they will reach out very kind of um how can i say it um in a very careful way oh that's what that's the word Let's clarify this. Why the Page of Swords? Why the Five of Pentacles? Why the Page of Cups? And why the Hanged Man? For Cancer. For this situation. We have a Four of Cups. Mm -hmm. That offer. Offer is coming in. It's showing up for you, Cancer. Offer as a, you know, um, conversation honest heart to heart conversation something like this this person is very unhappy very unhappy they are missing you they're thinking about you reminiscing about good times that they had with you represented by the three of cups it's like nothing it's making this person happy without you cancer the facade might be completely different oh, okay so there, there we there we have it someone this person wants to be in a relationship with you ten of pentacles that can represent marriage we have this life partner energy as well oh it can be a case if you are in a relationship here cancer and you had a argument or disagreement or there was a tension in the air um, and you essentially having a quiet days right uh, this person here your partner uh, it's going to kind of make a first move in order to make amends this is someone here who wants to who wants to be with you if you are not in a relationship and this message here is re resonates with you this is someone who is spying on you they're trying to figure out what you're up to they are missing you terribly with this five of pentacles they feel very lonely with no support it feels like this person feels like no one understands me uh, like as cancer this person is realizing I feel what they have my lost here and with the four of pent four of cups 
I feel that you've tried very hard to make this person happy, but essentially it feels like some that it's this energy of nothing is good enough. You might got this impression, or this person was just very kind of argumentative, um, and they just were focusing on the wrong things represented by the three of cups. Three of cups you know, not nicely aspected might represent uh, too much parting, uh, being distracted by the other people uh, and not putting and not prioritizing what is essential and important for overall happiness. And I'm seeing them very, very unhappy, wanting relationship with you with the Ten of Pentacles, stability. I'm not quite sure that you are fully open here to accept this offer. I feel that you will take your time. When this person will reach out, I'm getting that you will be open for communication for some of you, but you will be very, I need to say it, I, it can be that you will come across quite cold and I believe that you might have your reasons to be like this. But overall, I'm seeing here, Cancer, that you will take your time and this person will really have to prove that they care, that they really changed their approach, the angle that they might see different things through, you know, that they've changed approach and mindset because the hangman is all about changing perspective about something. And that's what is very needed here when it comes to this person's energy. Therefore, I feel that they will have to prove it. Meaning that as when they reach out, as I mentioned, I don't see you being particularly um, overexcited or, you know, engaged in a conversation. No, being very reserved. And this person will feel it. But they will also, I feel that you will let them know if you are, of course, open to taking this person back or re if you're considering being in touch even with them, this person will have to prove that they deserve your attention, your affection, your support and love. And maybe within time you would be open for, uh, or maybe you would consider taking this situation into the next level meaning having relationship with them what else what else we have for cancer please what else we have for cancer please okay so we have Two of Swords, we have a Knight of Swords, Seven of Cups, and the Magician. Okay. <laughs> Cancer, someone here wants to chase you. But again, I'm seeing you being uh, protecting your heart space, being very careful. I'm seeing you being very careful and quite distant because you have an energy that wants to chase, wants to rush in. And look, they are meeting up with the two of swords. You being very careful um, and protecting your heart space. Mm -hmm. And the reason for this is that I feel that you, you, we are connecting here with someone who made you feel that you are an option, not the priority with the Seven of Cups. They're trying to manifest you. Oh, they do. You have, you might be dealing with Gemini. I also have Virgo energy. This person is aware that, you know, you have so much to offer and ultimately you have options options in love just in general options and i feel this is someone here who is 
uh, very unhappy and they are kind of stressing out they are re they are full of regret here because if what if if they just didn't care they wouldn't show up in the first card in in a, in a, in a, pa in a page of swords this is a very curious energy it means that this person is very curious about you you on their mind and they know they know this is someone also who is assuming a lot with the seven of cups they, at the time I feel this person got very easily distracted but with the seven of cups it's like they're assuming a lot because they don't, they don't possess 100% uh, of clarity with regards to this situation and they're assuming a lot it's like this person is creating some sort of kind of scenarios in their head that's why they want to rush in they want to chase you because I feel with the magician, it's, 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 <laughs> I feel this person, it's, 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 it's I, don't, I don't know if I can say it, but it's just like, they feel so, so such a big amount of uncertainty that they, they can't focus on anything rather than you. That's what it's about. It's like they, this is a fantasy this, because seven of cups represents uncertainty. You know, many things are here presented, but, you know, this is not a grounded energy. Therefore, this is nothing certain. It's like up in the air. You see they, they, these pentacles here, it, they are on the clouds. These emotions that represent those choices. It's like someone is thinking, oh, okay, if I choose this, or maybe if this, or but if I go that way, you know, that sort of kind of vibe. But it's nothing certain because it's not grounded. It's up in the air, it's imagination, it's assumption. And this is what this person is, is kind of feeling that way. They have seven, to be precise, seven different outcomes with regards to them approaching you and how this conversation might, might go between the two of you. But they actively trying to manifest you. It wouldn't surprise me, Cancer, that you would find out yourself, for instance, dreaming about this person, meaning they are in your dreams. Or you hear songs, right? And suddenly this song will remind you a certain event or situation with this person there these are the signs the signs that this or you see randomly their name or you meet their friends or someone here is posting a photo uh, with them it's just the signs this is the signs from the universe that this person is thinking about you they are thinking about you and they're trying to manifest you let's clarify this two of swords uh, Knight of Swords, Seven of Cups, and the Magician. I also have another message here, but I will in a minute uh, tell you what I see as well. Cancer. Let's clarify this card. Why? Two of Swords, Knight of Swords, Seven of Cups, and the Magician, please, for Cancer. Why? Why, please? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. We have a King of Cups. We have um, Justice. What we have? Ten of Wands, of course. Overwhelmed. Two of Wands and the hermit mm. we have a Virgo energy I also have Libra energy you might be dealing with Pisces Scorpio and other cancer as well this is someone that situation that this person is in and those assumptions this, this imagination of days that might be projecting all these outcomes and things like this it's the whole matter 
it's heavily weighting on their shoulders. This person is overwhelmed by this, by this situation, them feeling lonely, being unhappy. They want to drop this burden because it's too much for them emotionally. The, the trick here is that they have to come forward in the right way with the justice. They have to talk and they have to balance things out with you. This is someone here who is planning to do it with the two of wands. And with the hermit, they went within, they are thinking about the situation. I'm getting, again, this is someone who's thinking non-stop about you. They have love for you with this king of cups. This is someone, if you've been wondering if this person ever loved you, well, I can see here that yes, this person has feelings for you, deep feelings, deep. They are overwhelming them. And the justice here is like a conscious. They, this, this conscious is keep on reminding this person. You need, to, you need to go and you need to talk. You need to explain yourself because you owned that explanation to cancer. And it's overwhelming them. It's too much. That's why they planning. They went within in order to kind of find a peace uh, with regards to this situation. But I don't see it's working. It's this person. It's now planning. It's planning. It's planning how to approach you. And they know that they have to do it differently and they have to come with knowledge, with, ex uh, with wisdom. They need to prove it to you that they are mature. And they take it seriously. Because otherwise, I don't see you being open for this. I also see the second message that I mentioned. I also see here, Cancer, that you have here many options. And with the, two, with the Seven of Cups, like an overall. And with the Two of Swords, it might be a case that you are at the crossroads. Because there is something, like the, there are two options here. And you might be still kind of thinking, trying to reevaluate, or evaluate, maybe better saying, which one is better. And with this Knight of Swords, it might be a case that someone here wants to rush in in order to make a certain decision. And please take it how it resonates. It can be about the family situation, it can be about the work uh, matter, uh, it can be about friendship, but I'm seeing overall something like this. And with the Magician, it's, it's, it's like someone here really wants to kind of rush you rushing you in order to make decision and you know overall it might be quite burdening for you because you might need essentially more time therefore it might be a case that you took step back you withdraw your energy because you don't want to be rushing you want to make a decision in 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 you know being sure about something that's why with the hermit you are now in the hermit mode thinking about it, planning, taking into consideration bad sides and good sides of it, making a right decision. But it doesn't help that someone here might be, or people or situation, you might feel that you have to rush in in order to make a decision. But I'm seeing you here, you know, making your own time, you know, making decision in the right time. And it might be quite challenging with the Ten of Wands, a bit draining, I agree, but overall I'm seeing you kind of coming from the place of wisdom, uh, experience, and kind of, you know, listening to your inner voice, what is best. Okay, so let's see the outcome. Let's see the outcome, Cancer. Could you please show us? The outcome for the immediate future. Six of Pentacles here I wanted to show up. Support. Support. A friend. Or someone. It's coming with some sort of support here. Could you please show me the outcome for Cancer? Could you please show me the outcome for Cancer, please?
Knight of Pentacles, the Sun, might be dealing with Leo. Yeah, long and steady win the race. King of Pentacles, side message, Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Three of Swords, Six of Cups. Mm -hmm. At the bottom of the deck, Seven of Wands. Someone, yeah, you don't trust a certain situation here. Cancer. Someone is coming with an offer. It looks like a solid offer with the Ace of Pentacles, but you don't trust this because this person broke your heart and now they want to apologize and rekindle something that might have been already lost. Straightforward. Message. Someone here wants to heal this free of souls. Someone wants to reconnect, apologize, have a reunion and reconciliation. But you don't trust this situation, this offer. Seven of Wands. Some of you might be indeed pushing it away. I'm getting very strongly the reason why you don't trust is because of this person approach. They pushed you away. And that's the bottom line. We have here in your outcome, Knight of Pentacles, beautiful energy. I can tell you that <laughs> the sun and the king of pentacles, you manifesting a enorm enormous amount of stability. This king of pentacles here is very nicely aspected. It's interesting because remember when I was saying about someone wants to rush you in, in order to make a decision, for you to make a decision. Knight of pentacles here represents completely different energy because he is the slowest moving knight right and he holds an offer solid offer and it's like he can also you know as an energy represented by this card of course he can also um takes forever but when when he will show up the the offer here it's solid and i'm seeing you taking time in order to make a decision about a certain offer here that might be presented to you as I mentioned before, you, it seems that you will have options or you have already options. But I see you taking time in order to accept the best option that might be for you. And I can tell you here one thing. With the Sun and the King of Pentacles, it will bring enormous amount of fulfillment, happiness and joy. You have a beautiful outcome. For some of you, it might be a case about your finances or for some of you, it might be a case about your work-related situation. Relationship, family, please take it how it resonates. Pentacles energy most of the time represents uh, 3D kind of situations, right? Like career, finances, um, a family situation based on, you know, like a properties. It doesn't have to be, but... In general something st stable something stable because this is like a practical energy Pentacles Oh, this is the way I should say it cups emotions right and I see that I'm getting that you will take your time in order to accept the best offer that in your own uh, kind of feeling it might looks uh, most suitable for you and for your situation and it will bring enormous amount of happiness and this is very interesting because this knight of pentacles will transform at the end with the help of the sun energy happiness joy fulfillment making a right choice into the king of pentacles which is stability good financial situation um, and also kind of having right people by your side people that you can rely on people who are loyal 
it's like you will make a right choice here about something and it will transform from this knight into the king energetically it's a massive shift it will just only go in the right direction and we have this assistance of the sun's energy which is which is essentially uh one of the best cards in the deck so it's like a it's like beautiful omen that everything will be okay let's clarify this very quickly for you cancer why the knight of pentacles the sun and the king of pentacles please for cancer we have a queen of wands and we have an eight of wands yes yes action communication conversation oh, sorry and we have a knight of cups good news good news good outcome good news are on the horizon you receive very very good news and i see conversation also i'm getting that you will take an action in a right moment when the time is right that's what they're saying to me you are very passionate here about something very ambitious and you can expect here that at the end you will take action you will but i'm getting you being very practical and very down to earth therefore you might be coming from the place certain things has to develop first in order for me to take an action and i'm not going to take silly risks because why would i i am sure about something if i'm sure about something then i will approach it's like if i'm sure that this thing will be successful and can transform into something more and it seems that it will then i will take an action because at the end of the day i am very passionate about it and good news are on the horizon here cancer so it really looks very promising cancer i will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time i truly truly appreciate you cancer have a fantastic and gorgeous day and once again thank you very much for being with me take care bye